New images shared by our local friends from Tesla Giga Berlin suggest that Tesla may have already started the earthwork for its battery factory. You know, guys, that Tesla has announced, Elon Musk has announced that Tesla is going to build the world's largest electric vehicle battery factory at Giga Berlin or in the vicinity. Um, and we, But we didn't know where exactly it's going to be and when the start of the con uh, construction was going to be. But now, new images suggest that tesla may have already started although we don't know what this exactly is welcome back dear friends this is armin harian from torquenews.com if you are here for the first time please subscribe to our channel and if this report is informative please uh, give us thumbs up and like it while you're watching it and also su uh, subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next tesla story um, our friend jurgen who has been providing reliable and consistent information and flyovers drone flyovers from tesla gigabyte factory uh, today has shared a new video and uh, where the images suggest that um, Tesla may have already started the battery factory uh, construction here's what uh, Jurgen says earthworks this is Giga Berlin earthworks in the southeast part of the Giga Berlin for a large storage hall about 22,000 square meter have begun screenshots from my flyover from February 26 that was yesterday and uh, the Jurgen uh, shared this on Twitter today now Jurgen says that this area is 22,000 square meter if we convert it to, to a square foot now uh, footage it will be 236,800 six square feet is this big enough for tesla to build its electric vehicle battery factory at giga berlin now after being approved uh, for a slice of the 3.5 billion assistance package for the development of giga berlin's 4680 battery plant tesla is set in a prime position to dominate the european battery production market or at least be one of the most important and major players in the european um, uh, electric vehicle battery production market cattle and basfs se both have large-scale battery manufacturing projects in germany already but giga berlin's plant could displace them as elon musk once said it could be the biggest in the world this is why um, uh, joey Klender from tesla Radi says giga berlin may displace them i personally uh, believe that the giga berlin battery factory will be a major player in the european electric vehicle battery market during the 2020 european battery conference in november 2020 if you remember guys elon musk said quote i think it will be the largest it would be capable of over 100 gigawatt hour, hours per year of production and then possibly going to 200 to 250 gigawatt hours per year talking about the battery factory and he continues saying i'm pretty confident at that point it would be the largest battery cell plant in the world end of the quote now tesla will need as much batteries as possible tesla also needs as much battery metals to build batteries as much as possible as last year during one of its uh, earnings call elon musk was pleading with nickel and cobalt makers that hey produce as many as possible minerals we will buy all of them we will give you giant contracts as i also reported about that yesterday now after coming off of a record year in deliveries and production figures tesla is continuing to ramp scalability as it tackles international markets for the first time in its history after expanding to china with its giga shanghai plant which began deliveries uh, delivering cars in january 2020 tesla had already started developing the giga berlin property by excavating the grounds and clearing obstacles that were there previously now the factory is well underway and is expected to begin producing cars this summer now, there still is no exact timeline for the 4680 battery plant as it could take several years to figure out supply chain details from suppliers to Berlin, um, uh, concludes Joey Klender and adds Tesla is also still figuring out the manufacturing processes of the 4680 cell at its Cato Road facility in Northern California. Elon Musk has said in the past that 4680 battery cells have been in working vehicles for some time, but 
decide at which scale at what scale only tesla knows uh, only tesla knows however um, i think that these images are so interesting we don't know what tesla is building but this area that you're say, seeing excavating uh, the earthwork that you're seeing uh, that uh, jürgen shared is so big that i'm thinking and not, oh, not only me not only me that we're thinking that tesla may be may have already started building the battery production i don't know why tesla would need several years to figure out the supply chain details uh, to suppliers to berlin battery factory um, because tesla will need as much batteries as possible as many batteries as possible once it builds its own uh, or its own uh, gigafactory once once the model y electric vehicles roll off the assembly line this summer uh, by the way we're expecting the prototype of the first prototype of model y from gigafactory berlin to roll off from may uh, that's what my previous report said a couple of days ago and uh, uh, who knows maybe tesla will need the battery factory at the same time as i was looking at the comments of jurgen's tweet uh, majority over of them over overwhelming majority said are these possibly uh, the earthworks for the battery factory now york stambike a vocal supporter of tesla's berlin facility now says that plant could open in two years he uh, said that and bloomberg reported uh, uh, reported i think several days ago or two weeks ago and um, this Despite regular hurdles to jump through, Tesla has had assistance from politicians all over Germany, to be honest, with Steinbach's support and other economic minister Peter Altmaier also extended this hand to the electric automaker, offering any help he can to expedite the factory's construction. Environmental concerns, all, along with complaints from local citizens, have tied up Tesla from time to time at the factory. Still, construction has been moving along at an impressive rate since um, the official groundbreaking. You have to sometimes translate the culture of our approval procedures with, uh, which are also strongly influenced by environmental protections, Steinbach said uh, to Bloomberg. Now, uh, Joey uh, Klein there from Tesla Radio also says it is crucial for Tesla to open Giga Berlin so it can expand its outreach in the most electric vehicle concentrated region on Earth. Steinbach says he is totally relaxed regarding the plant's ultimate approval he uh, he still expects electric vehicles to roll off the line in july which is in line of what i report several days ago if you remember i think two days ago i reported that um, a software owner from germany tweeted that uh, german railway is his company's customers and they in a zoom meeting has said that tesla told them to make containers ready for a prototype in may and a mass production of model why in july august we thought it was it's going to be june or uh, july but apparently it's going to take until july august that's what reportedly tesla told them now after the 46 ad battery cell uh, factory opens tesla will be able to scale back costs of its electric vehicles especially in europe um, currently buying many battery cells from third-party suppliers tesla will still do that for the foreseeable future according to elon musk however creating more battery cells will decrease the shortage of batteries making them less expensive and at the same time decreasing the price of tesla cars because of this important point the 4680 battery facility is of utmost importance friends what do you think do you think these images and pictures that you see videos from jurgen's video which I'm using here uh, uh, by his approval. Uh, do you think these are um, these places for electric vehicle battery plant from Giga Berlin? Let me know uh, in the comments. That's when, and when do you think, if it's yes or no, if it's not, when do you think Tesla will start building the battery plant? Uh, is it in two years, in your opinion, or earlier? It feels, it seems to me that it should be earlier than two years. Now, there was intense competition among European countries to host the Giga Factory, uh, Giga Berlin, because of its expected significant contribution to the economy that brings it a lot of investment. The sprawling facility, which is expected to be one of the largest manufacturing lines in Europe, will need a considerable number of employees despite many highly automated processes. There is also uh, a concerned, a concert, concerted effort in the European region to encourage battery 
in manufacturing so it is, since it is viewed as a strategic economic measure due to an increasing global transition towards renewable energy. A, 20, a 20, uh, 2018 report two years ago revealed, for instance, that the world will need at least 25 more gigafactories by 2025. The projected uptake in demand for electric cars and in-home power storage systems is causing concerns about a European fuel dependency on Asia, which as of early 2018 accounted for 88% of global battery manufacturing capacity. By 2018, European governments were providing subsidies and incentives uh, to companies like Tesla, as well as local battery manufacturing startups like Northvolt and Terra E to build production infrastructure within its borders, according to Matthias Matching, State Secretary at the German Economy Minister, quote, we are in the center of the biggest and deepest change in the automotive industry since its beginning. We would be naive to think we can handle battery technology as a commodity that can be bought anywhere in the world. And that was the end of the quote. And friends, on 12th November 2019, the selection of Berlin location for the Gigafactory 4 facility was officially announced by Tesla CEO Elon Musk uh, on at the Das Golden Lenkrad award show held in Berlin. Giga Berlin is expected to produce battery uh, packs and powertrains for use in Tesla vehicles. Like I said, it will also do assembly of the Tesla Model Y, hopefully this summer. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are. This is Armin Haryan. Please give us thumbs up if this video was informative and uh, useful and uh, subscribe to our channel. Look at the discussions. Look how interesting our our comment discussions are because they are based on the news um, and uh, if you're interested in Tesla and electric vehicle news please subscribe to our channel for daily news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next coverage have a great day peace be with all of you god bless you everyone see you soon